Hey guys, if you follow the channel, you know I travel quite a bit. I'm currently in Poland. Uh, I'm here for a few weeks working and uh, operating uh, under the uh, CEPT agreement. And here I have a big backyard and I can experiment with antennas. At home, I'm kind of limited to a vertical. I'm in an HOA situation. So one of my favorite antennas is the InFed Half Wave. And I've built quite a few of them, actually even here. Uh, one thing I've never done though, I've, I've made them as flat toppers and slopers. I've never made an inverted L InFed Half Wave. I'm really interested in this shape because, you know, with an inverted L, from what I gather, you get some gain. I mean, it's an omnidirectional, somewhat omnidirectional antenna. You have the, uh, the advantage of the vertical section, and then you also have the flat topper part, you know, that, that gives you uh, direction as well, broadside. So what I want to do, and what I'm going to do, is build an antenna for 40 meters. This is the setup. Here's a sketch that I did. So what I'm going to do is use a length of wire, about 65 feet, that's resonant at about 7.2 megahertz in the 40 meter band. This antenna should be resonant for 40, 20, 15, and 10. That's the plan, and that's usually the, 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 the idea of this infed half wave. One thing I want to see is in the direction of the hill, in the L, as you see here in the sketch, I should get increased gain uh, in that direction. So I'm going to experiment and see if that's the case. What I usually do too with my infed half waves, and you can do some research, I don't want to get too deep into the science with this, I put a small counterpoise on it, about 5% of the wavelength. So about 5% of the wavelength for uh, measured out for uh, 7.2 megahertz. Now I'll put this up in the window uh, and, and out the window and over to a pole. That's normally what I've done here and, and it's worked out really well. It's actually a pretty good setup. So let's go outside. I'm going to put this antenna together and we'll do some experimenting to see if I do get a little bit or if I can tell if I get some increased gain in the direction of the heel of the inverted L antenna. Okay, here's the installation. I got the, uh, that's a Beach umbrella stake in the ground, driven in the ground. Seven millimeter, a seven meter pole, I should say. Up to, it's an insulator I have taped to the top of the pole. And there's the vertical wire straight down. It's about five meters long. And the other wire is straight over the top of the second floor window. So that's it. There's my inverted L. And fed half wave. You can see I'm just a few inches, maybe six to eight inches above the ground there. And rocking and rolling. I think worked out pretty good. It's pretty square. A little bit of sag, but not much. Right up to the window. And the 49 to 1 unun in the window. And there's the 49 to 1 unun at the top of the window frame uh, with the uh, coax down to my Zyger G90. It's got the uh, driven element going out. Also, there is the uh, short, small counterpoise wire also outside the window and down to the uh, roof portion there. I've uh, built quite a few antennas out this very window the very same way. The window frame never seems to be an issue when doing, a, uh, doing an antenna this way. So let's, uh, let's get on the air and see what we can do with this. Okay, SWR on this setup was great. It was perfect for 40, 20, 15, and 10. So what I did is I, the L shape, uh, the vertical section, I made it five meters, which is basically a quarter wavelength for uh, the 20 meter band. I didn't do this for resonance. I did this for basically takeoff angle of that vertical antenna, thinking that um, with, with that shape and that L, I should get that increased gain. And it should really be able to see it on the 20 meter band. Well, I, I made calls. I, I had this thing pointed in the direction of the United Kingdom, I was straight at it. And um, I made calls and, and had great contacts throughout Europe. But I could tell that um, my signal reports in the direction of the heel uh, 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 that, uh, towards the United Kingdom were, were stellar compared to the rest of it. So I was, uh, there was definitely a noticeable improvement in gain towards the United Kingdom. Here's an example. Yeah, you've got 5 and 9 plus, no problem at all. Um, 
the call sign is for the Colchester Amateur Radio Club. My own call sign is Mike Zero Kilo Echo Bravo, so that's my own call sign. Um, but it, this is the uh, club station uh, for the DX Net, and uh, it doesn't look like anyone's joining me today, so <laughs> I'm glad to have a bit of company. Uh, working conditions here is a Fox Tango DX 5000. From a solid state X beam to a hex beam, and that's about 12 meters high, so that's the working conditions. Uh, Sugar Papa Stroke, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar, Mike Zero, oh, sorry, Golf X Ray 3, Charlie Oscar. Uh, yeah, QSL, QSL, uh, working conditions here are I'm just 20 watts, um, running a, a Zygu G90 at 20 watts, and uh, I just built out the uh, the home I'm in, I'm up on the second floor, an inverted L, in, in-fed half wave, so what I have is uh, the vertical L part at about 5 meters, and then the uh, the horizontal part the rest of the way here, so it's an in-fed half wave, uh, about... Uh, 65 feet that's a uh, half wave at about 7200 and um operating well and uh i'm glad that i got through glad that i've got a good signal there i actually have the uh i have it kind of pointing at you i, I have the uh the the l formed uh, straight to the uk so it seems like that is working well i was expecting some extra gain in that direction so thanks for the wonderful report Okay, I was somewhat convinced, but I still wanted to, to test it in a different direction. So what I did is I went out and moved this thing, uh, aiming it towards Scandinavia, uh, north of me to Scandinavia. Made a lot of calls and still could work a lot of Europe. Uh, I was working down to France, Italy, and, and that, those parts of Europe, which would have been broadside of the antenna. And it was getting decent uh, reports, anywhere 5557. Five, five, and, um, and then, you know, finally got a, made it through a, a couple to Scandinavia and, and was getting some really better signal reports from Scandinavia. Here's what I did with the antenna, and here's an example of uh, the QSO I had up to Norway. Okay, after a little bit of a snowfall, kind of messing around, moved this thing directly to a different position now. So there's the, uh, there's the vertical part. You can see I'm... Um, just a few inches above the ground and we're up and back to an inverted L situation. I've kind of pointed now towards Scandinavia. So we'll see if that makes a difference and see if the calls now are stronger and somewhat uh, directional uh, north of me. Let's give this a shot. Well, pretty much a, a short skip um, QSO there, but I was making other QSOs at about the same distance into Belgium and the Netherlands and uh, was not getting that well of a report. They were, you know, 5'3", 5'4", 5'5", up to maybe 5'7", but uh, the, the, the QSO up to, uh, within the same time frame too, this was all, you know, within a, you know, minutes of each other, that QSO up to Norway kind of showed me that even though that one was a short skip, my, my gain and uh, and uh, my output was better in that direction. Well, this thing performed well too broadside. It wasn't just, uh, you know, a, a directional antenna because it's not directional. It's just the, you know, the increased gain that I got. But, uh, you know, I, I worked all the bands and made contacts on all of them and uh, from 40 down to 10. Um, one cool thing is I, I worked a little QRP with the, uh, with the little uh, USDX uh, radio on 40. But one thing that really blew my mind was I used an, uh, an antenna tuner, the ATU with, inside the uh, Zygu G90, tuned it up for 80. And lo and behold, I was just blown away. I was making contacts on the 80 meter band. Uh, QSL, the name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. My location is on the north of Poland, 60 miles west of Gdansk. You are 5959 plus 10. Good luck, good DX, half to meet again, bye bye. 
Thank you, 73, bye-bye. Well, that was a fun experiment. You know, there's a lot of channels out there that'll um, model and break down an antenna and, uh, and, and give you all the theory, and that's great. I enjoy those channels a lot. I'm not that guy. I like to build things, you know, and, and then see if they work. I do a lot of research before I put an antenna together, but uh, I don't get too deep into, uh, at least in the video, showing you uh, all the theory behind it. It's kind of like in this hobby, it's, you, you kind of need to go out there and, and, and check that out for yourself. I just want to give you maybe an idea and show you that it, that it worked. You know, in my job, I'm a field engineer, so uh, I'm, not a, I'm not the theory guy either. I'm usually the guy that down on the site, when we design something, that um that and it's being constructed i'm the guy down there you know getting the bugs out and, and making sure it works that's what i do in my career and i like to bring that part of uh who i am and what i do in my career over to my hobby in, in, in amateur radio so um my engineering side over there i kind of use that same theory over here you know there's a lot of things but just like medicine it's not an exact science and i think uh building antennas in amateur radio is the same way they're not an exact science there's some theory there but you got to get out next you got to go practice and, uh, and, and experiment and put things together. And I hope I've encouraged you to get out and experiment because that's what I love about this hobby and that's what it's all about. Anyway, thanks for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, well, one more thing before I go, this um, video was had a sponsor. It was brought to you by the letter L. So um, thank you, letter L. I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed the inverted L antenna. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. 73, my friends. I'll see you soon.